the whole thing behind this and the power of these stores is if you look at Amazon, you look at what everyone else is doing right now on the online space, it's whoever can make it the easiest for your customer to order is going to win. So the key is make it as easy as possible for them to order, not just order, but pay you money. You know, right now you can go on your phone, you can order Amazon, you can, you know, have something ship and it could probably be on my doorstep by the time I get home tomorrow or Monday. So the easiest way to order is the key here. First, I'm going to talk about team stores. So team stores, uh, you know, really the coaches come in and the problem with coaches is they love coaching. They don't want to deal with money. They don't want to deal with orders. They don't want to deal with apparel and just don't want to deal with it. So when you can tell a coach that you can set up the store for them, the store is going to collect the money. You're going to collect the orders. When you get that order done, you're going to individually bag it and everything else and deliver it back to the school. And all they got to do is hand it out. The coach is thinking, hell yeah, let's do that. Um, so here's the tale of two teams. Um, team one made state playoffs. We had two, two uh, high schools in our town that made state basketball uh, two years ago. And team one called in, they ordered 800 shirts. And that was sweet, we got them on the press, we pulled them, we got print right away. Team two, we did an online store for it, and we offered six products, and we sold a total of 836 shirts. Um, both of them, pretty much the exact same press time. Um, <laughs> team one, so just for the sake of uh, the presentation, I didn't add a lot of overhead in, and I kept it pretty uh, basic when it comes to things. So team one, they had 800 shirts. They sold them at the school, um, you know, out of the, the office or whatever for $10 each. And they made $8,000 in sales on their state basketball shirts. And we charged them $6 a shirt. They raised a total of 3,200 bucks for the basketball team. You know, like I said, our hard good cost, let's say it's a $2 shirt. So we made a $3,200 profit as well. Team number two set up the web store for them. Uh, quick turnaround on that, but they had 412 t-shirts, 92 long sleeves, 84 dry fits, 56 crew necks, 124 hoodies, and 68 dry foot ho hoodies, totaling $14,648 in sales. The uh, team cost broken down there. Total cost of the team was $10,956. Amount of money raised, $3,692. So the team actually made an additional $492. Go back down to what we made, and I was able to take my wife out to dinner that night. You go to the coach, you show the presentation, you say, hey, here's what we can do for your team. And it's showing uh, the logo mocked up on a t-shirt and a long sleeve and a hoodie and everything else. And say, hey, here's what we can do for you. It um, takes all the work off of you. The biggest thing for the coaches is they don't want to handle the money and they don't want to handle t-shirts. They don't want to get stuck having extra. The other part about team one and team two, is team two is we know all those are 100% fulfilled. Team, the first team, they ordered the 800 shirts. They might be sitting with uh, 20 double X's in the office yet because they didn't sell all 800. They're not spoken for, they're just guessing. Here's what we might sell. So out of that actual profit that the, the school made, they actually probably got cut down a little bit because they had some shirts left. So that's the other selling point is you're never going to have a box of shirts sitting in the corner of the office because every shirt is sold um, because everyone is, has been pre-ordered. If there's other screen printers in your area that are not doing web stores and you're currently not doing web stores, do this and then you'll be ahead of the game on them. Get going or they're going to start gobbling up the rest of the teams from you. So company stores are great. The, the thing I love most about company stores is the recurring revenue. We're making money while we sleep. I love coming in on Monday morning and seeing the list populated with all these orders that came in. And we've gotten a lot of stores where we've gone to the HR person and they literally are overwhelmed trying to keep spreadsheets and kind of keep, tr keep track of employees that are ordering stuff or wanting company apparel or there's no system set up at all. So we set up the company store, 
and again, it takes it off their plate. They don't have to deal with money. They don't have to deal with keeping track of the orders. We do it, we fulfill it, we ship it to them or we drop it off at their business. And then all they gotta do is, is get the person to pick it up. The client stores in the next three years, this is what we're gonna use to take our online stores to over $5 million in sales. And this is probably the perspective most people do not think about or look at when it comes to online stores. The two biggest that we just talked about are team stores and company stores. And the biggest one we're going to is client stores. And here's what client stores are all about. Adding new clients. So to set up these web stores is so simple. When we go out prospecting, um, we make a list. All right, who do we want our clients to be? Or someone says, hey, I got a meeting with so-and-so construction company coming up on Friday. Boom, set a web store up for them. We go into that meeting. Hey, here's your own ordering portal. You have your own thing you can go on and we have everything already mocked up for them. We don't have competitors anymore because we have this great tool. We showed the initiative that we put time into their company. We care about them and you know, we show that work on the front end. They know and they trust us that we're gonna put that work in all the way through the customer experience with them.